Good morning, good morning, good morning. It's your buddy Mikey here, SD Fish and Sips. Sunday, June 19th, 2022. And I'm down here at the landings, San Diego Bay. Fisherman's Landing, Point Loma Sport Fishing, and H&M Landing. We got Dolphin going out and we got Islander coming in. I know, here we go. Islander backs it in all the way. They're turning it in, they're backing it in. So let's take a look at the maps. We're here in the middle of June. And last we left off here, I was chasing tuna on the Freedom Boat Club with Nam just west of the Coronado Islands over here by the Coronado Canyon Lower Nine Mile Bank. That was on Monday, about a week ago. On the 23rd, I was out here by Lower Nine Mile Bank, Coronado Canyon, chasing some foamers that are seen the day before. Haven't heard much about what's been going on this week. I fished uh, Point Loma Kelp on Wednesday for some Barracuda. I fished Point Loma or uh, La Jolla on Thursday for some Calico. I saw Nam out there. So we got some boats coming in. We got another boat coming in further down. Let's go see. Tail. Okay, here we are now down at H&M landing, I made it all through the landings and there's not very many fish. I didn't see any bluefin and I saw yellowtail loaded into fisherman's processing. But red rooster is right here. Are they, I don't even see them offloading fish. I think it was a rough weekend for the fleet. We'll see legends coming in right here. And we can go see how the uh, Islander did. The legends backing in. Dang, I think it was tough this weekend. All right, now I'm looking at the numbers since I haven't seen the fish and it's not too, it was a rough weekend. Four bluefin on a 1.5 day for 21. Seven bluefin, Islander, 26 anglers on a 2.5 day. Bite on the Freeman 34 did pretty good with 182 to 207 for three anglers. Condor, one yellowtail, one bonito on a 1.5 day for 37 anglers. That's really, that's hard. Same thing, bluefin, one bluefin Mustang, 21 anglers. And then they changed up the tackle recommendations. Now it's more yellowtail fishing, 40 to 60 pounds for a smaller bluefin, under 80 pounds, 80 to 130 for nighttime sinker rigs. Oh man, different story than last weekend, even though all the fish came in. See, no bluefin. All they got is some yellowtail in the bins down at the processing, but minimal. Oh, <laughs> right on, thank you for what, were you on a boat or are you going out? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just got in from, uh... See, no bluefin. All they got is some yellowtail in the bins down at the processing, but minimal. Oh, <laughs> right on, thank you for what, were you on a boat or are you going out? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just got in from uh... I saw some yellowtail right here and then um, no bluefin. Then I looked at the numbers and everybody, it was just tough for the whole fleet this weekend. It yeah. It was it conditions wise, it was rough on the water uh, too. Yeah. Or it was just the fish weren't biting. Yeah, I got one fish the first day and then uh... Did you get a bluefin or you just yellow to Oh, nice. Good for you. That was one of the few. Was that was uh, the only one on the boat or how many did the boat get? Like two um, bait caught fish and then the other five were kite fish. We got five. Oh, you got five on the kite. And the and the Freeman got three on the kite too. So I think that their kite fishing is starting to come up. Oh, yeah. They were all over that stuff. Really? Yeah. Big, yep. big ones. Foamer. Do you know where you were at? Could you see uh, any islands or what? That was from your trip? Yeah, we got one that, of those and then I got a- like You a, got to crank on it, your number got called? My brother, so we, yeah, we tagged you. <laughs> oh, yeah. They're a beast, 200 pound tank. Yeah. What were they using? What type of reel was it? Uh, 50 wide international. International 50 yeah, wide, we yeah. Got it on a single speed, so that made it even worse. But but once you started cranking, you didn't stop cranking, huh? You uh, or did the fish stop and take some runs? And was oh, it yeah, a battle? Yeah, yeah, it was. Yeah. But uh, yeah, they, then they switched over to the, so 
we were the only one that got on a single speed, and the other ones were on two speed. And then, uh, how many hookups on the kite? Uh, Did they land all the fish? Seven, and then landed five. That's 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 cool to have the kite, especially if you're gonna come away with one of them too. You know. Yeah, we got like 180 pounds of fish, so. But yeah, that's. It was weird. That is really. What time did those fish bite on the kite? In the afternoon on yesterday afternoon, Saturday afternoon. So Friday and set, uh, yeah, Friday and Saturday. We went out Thursday morning. And we got in this morning about five o'clock. And then nothing yesterday was completely dead. Except for kite fish. Oh, well, kite. We got, we got one bait fish in the morning. Had another one on. So we only had three hookups on bait. For, for like sardines. Yeah, on the, on the sinker rig or fly line? I got mine on fly line and then the other one was on, the other two were on sinker rigs. One busted off and then just landed one. So we only landed two bait caught fish. And you got one of them. I got one. And then you also got to crank on a kite fish. Yeah. <laughs> That's um, a good trip for you. Yeah, That's awesome, out. I'm stoked. Yeah. What's your name? John Zebar. John? Yeah, Zebar from North Carolina. Z I'm oh, from California. Oh! You're making it happen. I'm stoked for you. That's awesome. Is that your only trip this year, or did you? Uh, yeah, see, I, I traveled out from North Carolina, so uh, I, I don't know if I'll make it back out this, this year. But. Dude, that is, to hear that, to be able to make that happen, to come out from North Carolina, yeah. that's that's awesome, John. Yeah, it was my brother's first time you know, fishing big fish like that, so he got one. <laughs> yeah, man. Hey, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, too. Thanks for watching. Okay, so there you have it. I got a report from John. Even though the sport fishing numbers are down, he still they said they got some kite fish. So now it seems like the fish are coming up on the kites, which is good for the private boats and for me. And I think Nautilus got one too, Captain Trevor. Islanders off hauling a couple of fish. I saw some yellowtail and some bluefin. There he goes. Another bluefin. I think they had six. Six or seven bluefin. Tomahawk. Couple yellowtail. Look at like a 150, 200 pounder right there. Nice fish. They got him. They got the Mad Max. There we go. One sixty two hundred. This is it. Two of them left. Sweet. I know the pink. Damn, that macro one's pretty sweet. All oh, those cold snipers. There's the 120 gram Katy Perry. It's a lot of cold snipers. These are poppers. Viz 20, that's the reel I want to get. 630 bucks. Or the Talica. Talica 20 is 50 more dollars. Okay, here we got somebody going out right here and they're loading up the kite. It's in his left hand right there. There's the kite for kite fishing. That might be bite sport fishing, maybe. But that's the name of the game, bluefin tuna on the kite right now. Switching up, changing, you gotta be always ready, adapting. But I'm still trying to make it happen. I also picked up my Mad Mac here. 
Finally got the 200 size Mad Mac. That would be trolling hard down off of Ensenada, Bonda Bank. Try to make that happen before I leave and go out to Alaska. That's the next journey and adventure. Okay, that's gonna conclude it here for my report. Quiet day on the docks here. Sunday, Father's Day. Happy Father's Day for all you dads out there. But it's a quiet day down at the docks here in San Diego Bay. Uh, died down for the sport fishing fleet, the bite. There's few pickings on bluefin, but I am hearing that they're coming up and they're hitting the California flyer and the kite and the dead flyer. So that's a good sign. Hopefully I can get some drone shots of some kite fishing, get out on some boats and take care of that. I was out on Freedom Boat Club chasing foamers Monday with Nam. You saw that, posted that video. Unfortunately, we never saw him. Daytime bite is hard uh, fishing when it's a full moon phase. And then after the moon phase, the just bite just died out for the sport fishing fleet, it sounds like. And the numbers were really down today. Uh, There's just a couple bluefin on each boat, but I did talk to John. Uh, he came out from North Carolina and nabbed one on the fly line of bluefin. And then he got to crank on a big one that they hooked up on the kite. So fish are still out there. You got to fish hard, make it happen. La Jolla has been a lot of calico bass. I caught a barracuda out of Point Loma on uh, Tuesday. So it's all good. Get out there and fish hard, troll hard, tight lines, one love. Mikey, SD Fish and Sip signing off you.